Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F-15E and we're looking at using packs to program weapons after a rearm. This is something I found out the hard way in a mission in the F-15E. I didn't realize you had to manually program weapons once you had done a rearm. Let me show you what I mean. First, I've got an F-15E here in mission editor. It's hot started and I'm gonna give it a load of weapons in the mission editor. Done, run. And in we go, zoom in on the screen, main menu one, armament, air to ground, and you can see it's got the stations here, and it's correctly populated the information about each weapon, GBU-12, GBU-10, fuel tanks, and so on. We could then box them, set them up, and go and drop those bombs. Next, let's show the same thing, but from a cold start. So the jet is fully armed up, but we're just taking it off from the ramp cold we're cold this time so we're going to do a cold start the quickest way possible an auto cold start speed that through super quick done and let's go to armament air to ground and again the weapons are fully populated but this time we're going to have our jet not armed on a hot start so remove weapons and this time we're going to rearm in game at the friendly airfield. Rearm with, how about some Durandals and some CBU 97s. Rearm. Check the mic switch is turned on. And it is. Fast forward. Bombs equipped. Rearmed. Next, if we went to menu one, armament air to ground oh dear we can see we have six bombs on that station and six bombs on that station but they are not populated we don't know which weapons are on those stations so we have to program them manually so to do that menu back to armament page air to ground load we need to step here until on the left and right one of the correct bomb names shows up there cbu 97 box that and then box the correct station. For God's sake, make sure you box the right one. And our CBU 97s were on the left station. In this case, we have extra fuse information to set up. So fuse. We can have either just the base timed fuse, time after bomb release, at which the bomb arms in seconds, or we can add an additional height fuse that the bomb can us to separate. So obviously set your time up here and set your altitude of bomb canister separation there press enter to save it to that station menu to get back and that is station six set up with cbu 97 next let's do the durandal so cycle step until we find durandal there it is blu 107 assigned to that station there we don't have any extra fusing for that bomb to set up and that's us done menu one air to ground we now have our bombs correctly populated in the aircraft weapon control system and we can go and do our normal selection, set our programs up and go and bomb. I just thought that was useful to show you that. I hope that was useful and see you later.